Today was my best day since we passed the border, says River Faria, but I had problems with the engine. I tried to repair it, but uh, couldn't fix it. Uh, the end of the stage was very fast and uh, really struggled to make it to the finish. The final day in Morocco for the car category, and as they headed down through the Atlas Mountains towards the sand dunes, a chance to get in some practice for the Sahara that lies ahead of them. Carlos Sainz is taking this rally by the scruff of the neck the way he used to when he was competing in the World Rally Championship and winning multiple titles. It was his third stage win today. He continues to lead the overall classification. Today he opened another minute and 40 seconds on teammate Ginial de Villiers. Sainz never seems to take anything for granted. He's determined to exploit his Volkswagen speed. Now he's got to trust in its reliability and try and avoid punctures, like Jean-Louis Schlesser here has just picked up. After struggling through Morocco, Stefan Peterhansel finally had a good day, finishing the 325km stage just 30 seconds slower than Sainz. The Frenchman moved up from 9th to 7th today, but he still trails Sainz by 24 minutes. He'll need some help from the Dunes. There wasn't too much to choose between the fastest pair of race Tuaregs today, but South African Janil de Villiers again trailed Carlos Sainz home. He still lies second overall, but yesterday's deficit to Sainz has grown from two to three and a half minutes. Defending champion Luke Alphonse has been having a tough time of it so far on the Dakar. Today he moved up from fifth to fourth in the overall standings, but he's 20 minutes behind the leader. A puncture and then a problem reattaching the bodywork added to his delays. Lying fourth this morning, Nanny Romas held on to his position as the best of the Mitsubishis. But Luke, Luke Alphonse only four minutes behind him and Peter Hansel a further four adrift. Another strong performance from Frenchman Gerlain Chicherit. The BMW driver really seems to be getting his teeth into the event, attacking with all the sort of verve you might expect from an extreme ch skiing champion. Portuguese Carlos Souza still lies in third place overall. But finishing seventh on today's special and losing seven minutes to Sainz means he's now 11 behind at the foot of Volkswagen's top three. And the Mitsubishis are graining down ground on him as well. Mark Miller slipped a further seven minutes back today, still in tenth overall, but now 49 minutes behind the leader. Freshman Benoit Rousselot is going to earn the nickname Mr. Ninth Place. He's been at ninth on each of the three stages since the rally meet reached Morocco. His Nissan can't quite complete the symmetry in the overall standings yet. He's in 11th. Mr. Ninth to Mr. Puncher. Hiroshi Masuoko is certainly having the main number of punchers in the Mitsubishi team. Today he picked up another three flat tyres, robbing him of any chance of challenging for the stage win. 
a shame the Japanese former winner had started very quickly indeed and was hoping for a much better day. The 2006 FIA Cross Country World Cup champion Sergei Shmakov, 11th on the stage today in his buggy. And he not only beat yesterday's stage winner, but another former FIA Cross Country World Cup champion, Jean-Louis Schlesser. It was a rare stage win for a privateer yesterday, and today the buggy wasn't quite as much in his element. He was 13th, dropping from 7th to 9th in the ever-changing group behind the Volkswagens. SMG boss Philippe Gash managed to lose a wheel at the end of yesterday's special. Today he was 40th, losing another 40 minutes and dropping to 45th overall. And meanwhile, Carol Montier and co-driver Melanie Suchet worried about what's ahead in the dust cloud. And with good reason. Very dangerous, she says. Shall we get out? Okay, let's go. Looks like they're okay. After yesterday's engine problems hobbled him, Robbie Gordon was determined to try and exploit his Hummer's speed on today's fast sections. The American Monster is one of the quickest machines on the flat, but it needs to get by. And Gordon, in NASCAR bump drafting mode, was taking no prisoners. Portugal behind him, Carlos Sainz has been unbeatable in Morocco. Stefan Peterhansel having a good day today though, perhaps a sign of changing fortunes at Mitsubishi, but Peterhansel is a long way down the order. Top Mitsu, currently Nani Roma, behind a Volkswagen 1, 2, 3. Very, very narrow in the beginning in the mountain and uh, very slow, you know, second gear, first gear, a lot of the places, so it was very, very tricky. Uh, we went very slowly in the beginning and then uh, at the end of the mountain we caught Jean-Louis and I sat behind him for 100 kilometers in his dust and uh, he did not want to move over so we had just had to wait in his dust you know, until he had a puncture and then uh, we could go fast and um, uh, otherwise we had no problem, we had uh, no punctures or anything. So. Got a little puncture towards the end, said Carlos Souza, but nothing really serious. 